Welcome back to Total Party Kill, uh, the adventure game where people get murdered by goblins and or their hobgoblin employers. I'm your dungeon master, Tony Sundalar. Let's meet our players who are in the midst of battle. Uh, first, it's Jason Snell. Hello, I'm Furion uh, the Elf, and Furion loves magic and learning and causing trouble. Next is James Thompson. <laughs> uh, I play Nox, the Dragonborn Bard, who is hoping that diplomacy will save the day. Then it's uh, Mike Hurley. I am Maximilian Thundercliff, the half orc of half HP. <laughs> then it's Liz Miles. Uh, I'm Velo the Less Demonic, a human warlock who is extremely proud of having just incinerated three and a half goblins. Also here, Adina Hurley. I'm playing Olena, a half elf rogue who's feeling massively overwhelmed right now by the goblin invasion, hoping she'll make it through the day. And last but not least, it's Tiff Arment. Playing El Scorcho, who also would like to try a little bit more diplomacy this time. <laughs> Unclear if Meepo as Meepo gets a guest credit for this episode or not. <laughs> so, previously on Total Party Kill, our adventures had pushed deeper into the Goblin Warren, coming upon their central room, slaying many goblin warriors and commoners and just non-combatants. Um, despite terrible odds uh the they, they have held their ground and and just stacked up bodies left and right uh unfortunately they have garnered the attention of dern the hobgoblin chieftain of this tribe who has kicked open a door and demanded to know who you are and why you keep killing these people he doesn't care for anyway uh dern is a rather imposing figure he's a he's a hobgoblin he's a kind of orangish face with big pointy ears that stick out uh he's tall unlike the kind of diminutive goblins he he stands a good six feet tall he's flanked by his uh his hobgoblin uh kind of bodyguards uh, all of them are armored whereas goblins tend to just kind of have uh you know loincloths and maybe some you know animal skins uh hobgoblins are, are are dressed in full armor and there's a strange kind of shaman looking goblin kind of cowering in the corner next to uh next to dern um and so illuminated by the the uh the fire that somebody has dramatically set in front of his door he says i don't know who you people are but i didn't care for those goblins anyway explain yourself okay i so think we need to think little, about this is there anything we can possibly say in this situation <laughs> So I remember from the previous stream that uh, I think that this Dern dude basically organized a little coup, uh, coup, yeah, and uh, over overthrew the government to take control of this tribe, and he doesn't get along with the old leadership. So maybe we can make a pact here uh, with him, or like a negotiation, asking him to give us the adventurer prisoners in exchange of killing the rest of the people he hates. I don't want to make that pact. I want to kill them all. Yeah, I think we could threaten him and say, look, all we want to do is uh, get those adventurers who came in here and take them back. Uh, and if you give we'll them to us, then hair. there won't be any more trouble. We I'm don't want to have to kill you, kind of. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to have to like guarantee that we're going to kill more people. Okay. Yeah, but we're, we're bluffing. <laughs> Because uh, we do want to kill them. No, we're bluffing because we want to get past. Because uh. all we want to do is if we can get past them, presumably, we want to get down or whatever it is where the, okay. no, the no, adventurers no. went. Down below. Um, As a bluff makes more sense, yes. Anything so like. we're, we're, in fact, bluffing uh, to save lives. Oh, this is disappointing. I see Furion's <laughs> left at this point because, obviously, no, back, back. Furion wants to kill everyone. Yeah, well, Furion's got the fury, and you know. he shouldn't be allowed to make any tactical decisions for a while until we've had a he, short rest. He doesn't. He doesn't wait for tactical decisions. He's just charging. It's an alpha of there. action. So, self of action. Who, who will, who <laughs> yeah. will speak for the party? Um, I've got very high charisma. So, wait, who can speak for the party? Who can speak the language here? Is it? <laughs> ah, well, we can speak common. We, you know, we can, yeah. that's fine. Is that what they're communicating um, in? Uh, what do hobgoblins I think speak? everyone speaks common. I think maybe. Do, do, do. Yeah, these, these hobgoblins are speaking common. Okay. Okay. Just checking. So, uh, shall we do the? We don't want any trouble. We just want to. We don't want to kill. We don't want any you. trouble. We just murdered, you know, one no. or two of your people for funsies. Well, we can, yeah. Okay, we can do yeah. the the sort of. Um, 
We just want those adventurers. You've seen right? our power. You've seen our yeah. power. We just want past. All we want is the adventurers. You don't have to die. I do have a uh, spell that can cause harmless tremors to the ground for one minute. So I don't know if that's useful. <laughs> I would save a spell until we need it. Um, I mean, I, I would remember what he said, which was, I didn't care about those people anyway. Okay. Again, like, if he's being legit about that, then there's no, there's no need for us to be like, you've seen what we've done. It's kind of just like a look. Let's just go past. Like, we Do you think he's going to go for that? I don't know. Um, who Honestly, has the I best chance of saying that? Where uh, who has really high? Um, let's see, what would we need? Well, there's persuasion and there's uh, intimidation. I've got deception plus four for charisma, which is already high. My charisma is seventeen plus four is twenty-one. Yeah, I've got uh, deception high plus five, oh, persuasion wow, okay. plus five. Then you should be persuading James, I think, uh, if that's what we're going to do. So we're just going to persuade them to, you know... We're too scary to fight. Yeah. Yeah. It's worth a go. Yeah, go you should put it. on your voice. I'll put on my voice. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, well, I shall possibly quite foolishly move right in front of this door. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you know, there's fire there, right? Yeah, in front of the fire, not in the fire. Um, okay, I'll say, or oh, what I say? Um, we didn't care for them either. <laughs> Let us pass. All we want are the adventurers. You don't have to die. That was very intimidating. You want you want to roll persuasion? Sure. <laughs> uh, so I've got plus five on persuasion. That wasn't that acting wasn't clearly a critical hit, Tony. Mm. <laughs> um, I roll eighteen plus five twenty three. Wow. wow. Hey. Um. So uh, Duran looks uh, somewhat taken aback by this, uh, and uh, he he kind of hesitates, and you can you can just tell that he feels like he's he's being judged by his uh his hobgoblin uh party that he's he's surrounded with and he says i i i, 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 I can't just let you through here to, to take what you will and be gone i i don't want to see your faces again leave my territory with your lives okay can uh, we leave by going through it that way can we say <laughs> that's the direction we came either. from <laughs> let's the world just head on through there is be it, gone i i You've done enough damage here already. I I have no business with you. I okay, like someone, those guys, man. Can We're someone helping. sneak around the back there while Knox is distracting them? Hmm? All, of you, just, all of you, all of you sneak like sneak. <laughs> that, that seems I like a really a plan. Let's do diplomacy and then murder. That's no, no, no murder. Just sneaking. <laughs> all right. Okay. Yeah, but well, I, am I just going to stand at the front? <laughs> Yeah, uh, your arms I cannot leave where I am either. So it would just be me and Knox just hanging out. Just There's like also a the chat. guy next to you. All right, can yeah. we can we make sure that we're not going to get attacked by any more goblins if he's like that? And we're like, okay, but you guys can't shoot at us anymore. Yeah, yeah. Can Why you not give us like that? a little bit of paper that says we're 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 allowed yeah, to fight? He, right, he, he wants us to leave. Here is to leave. It's mm. like, if we're not go turning around and leaving, then we're going to be No, engaging. no, we didn't come from that direction. We came from the other direction. What, through his quarters, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We were, like, in his bedroom, yeah. yeah. Um, we'll we'll just, just say he wants us to leave, and we're like, we're happy to leave, but we'd like to go through he, and not back. Is that okay? You know? That's not leaving. <laughs> that that's, is leaving. We're leaving. It's kind leaving. of entering. Really. <laughs> I thought we like made our way through their territory. So when you think about he, it, leaving is just entering in reverse <laughs> in another. Place. I, know, I, I just uh, thought there was another way out. So you know, Dern, it's, it's, Dern, po Dern points at the uh, at the door over where Olena and L are standing and kind of coughs. <clears throat> he he yes, points M out the glowing exit sign nope, above no. the door. <laughs> I would like to say, Noble Dern, is there a, another way out? You know, oh, what were the adventurers went? Do, do we think we this money. guy likes money? We're not yeah. giving him any more money. We gave the dragon like three gold pieces and what do we get out of it? Nothing. What else do we have? We have dragon. to have something. Well, Show I mean, we could, I, I could try persuading him more uh, yeah. with the offer of funds or something because we no, need to go that way. Don't offer I funds think. unless those funds give us an advantage, Tony. 
Well, I think like our, our choices here are we leave and the game ends. <laughs> Well, no, it doesn't. Can, we can go somewhere else. It's could you our adventure. To... We can shape it. By the way, well, yeah, I don't think we go up a level if we well, just run we away. We just asked Dern, where are these adventurer dudes? Thanks. So, you know, can um, you tell us? Have you kept them prisoner? Are they dead? What's going on there? You know, if you want us to leave, you, we want you a few want questions Dern, answered first. Uh, I think. Go I for think it. Money. Th these, these people like money. Ugh. Do we get an advantage if we offer money? You don't know. Okay. Furion sends a message um, this time to the dragon and says, I found a really great new room for your lair. There's lots of stuff in here. You should come. Okay. <laughs> nice. D does um, the, is the dragon going to help? Can we hear dragon uh, You know what, Furion? We'll see. The door uh, behind you back in the western hallway opens. <laughs> it's going to be me, punk. Uh, Carolax, uh, escorted by me, or I guess... I don't know who's escorting who, but Carolax and Meepo <laughs> poke their heads around the corner. Can I wave to Meepo? Hi, Meepo! How's it going? And, uh, and, and, uh, and Carolax starts to kind of prowl down the hallway in your direction. Uh-oh. Can, can we okay. say hi to Meepo? Nox, you should get out of the way. How, how are well, things I going, think Meepo? I'm going to try one last bit of yeah. um, Promising. persuasion no, here. No, the dragon in. I was saying... Well, let's use the dragon as the persuasion. Yeah, it's like... You might have missed the fact that not only am I a dragon, We've got we have another dragon. <laughs> and we'll say that, and and we'll say that Carolax, Carolax moves into the I room behind you I sent a message to Nox right before that. that, and I'm like, dragon coming, dragon coming. Set, set this up, set this up. <laughs> it's like, so... Double okay. dragon all the way across the and sky. And I say, hey, hey, uh, Carolax, look at this great lair. It's got lots of junk, in, I mean, treasure in it already. Carolax uh, put moves into the room, uh, kind of just like you know the camera does like like a change in focus from Knox to the dragon, kind of coming <laughs> into the room in the shot behind Knox's <laughs> corner, and uh, and Dern's uh, Dern's eyes get a little big. Uh, Dern says, "Ah, uh, I'm sure we could talk about this as reasonable people. Uh, could you could you put this fire out?" Um. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, I've got some questions. Please come into my come into my my throne room, and we'll discuss this. Come into you your that. spider web, you or know. I'll come out there. Either way, whatever you want. <laughs> okay, I think, I think, we're, I think we're on. Where you want it. Um, I think this could work. I think we just need to <laughs> press our. All right, I snap my fingers superior. in a dramatic gesture, and the fire goes out. All okay. right, Dern is looking to you for where should he go. Go anywhere you want. We just want right. to get past. Dern, Dern and uh, the Hobgoblins kind of try and... They're not sure which way the dragon's going, but they do not want to be in that way. So, oh, yeah. Let's get some questions about this adventure, that before we kill All them. Right. Uh, we're not going to kill them. We've promised the dragon, basically. Well, that's up to the dragon. We'll just get fine, out of there. Fine, fine. It's up to the dragon. We'll just get our questions <sighs> answered. Then. All yeah. right. Carolax, uh, Carolax so moves into the room. And, you know, it's hard to talk. Carolax is a small dragon. It's a little unclear what the odds are here in terms of a fight between, you know, like five hobgoblins and one dragon. But it seems plus like nobody us. is too... Plus you. Seems like nobody's super interested in, like, figuring out exactly how that would shape out. We'd um, win. And Carolax kind of patrols around the room, chews on some goblin corpses, roots through the uh, the pile of goblin trash in the bottom, uh, and then goes up to uh, to Dern and just starts kind of sniffing at Dern aggressively. This has uh, got an aggressive sniffing. Dern, Dern basically does he have any uh, dragon empties. treats? Does he have like a little dragon chow or so, like a little uh, bully stick? No, or something rats, little little. But little Dern bit. does empty his pockets in front of Carolax. <laughs> Uh, so Dern has, uh, you know, like a little little uh, uh, coin purse full of gold coins. Uh, Dern takes off nervously uh, a gold ring that looks similar to the, uh, in at least in 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 uh, shape to the ring that you found before. You don't get you don't get a close look at it. Um, and uh, yeah, you also I'm gonna say Knox, you're right there. So you're now like close. Uh, nearby to Dern, right? You notice that the armor that Dern is wearing 
has the Hercule family crest oh. on it, which uh, mm. oh, we should have investigated. <laughs> which is not a you know not a not a popular hobgoblin make of armor. Um, okay, one of the one of the hobgoblins takes off. He's got like uh, silver earrings, and he like takes them off and like throws them at his feet before before Carolax even looks in his direction. Are um, they trying to buy our dragon? Oh. I think no, they just, just do not want to, to have the, the money taken from them. Uh, yeah. you know, uh, via violence. So, from so, yeah. their corpses. <laughs> yeah, so the hobgoblins are basically emptying their pockets of valuables, um, <laughs> scattering various trinkets at their feet yeah. in the hopes of appeasing a dragon. Can we so, have asked guess, them uh, about uh, the adventure? Me- Meepo follows Carolax behind, scooping things up into a bag <laughs> that he's carrying, <laughs> kind of Santa Claus style on his shoulder. <laughs> I love They're just rubbing. They're just mugging these people. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> I think uh, Nox this is, is have to This is talk. collecting tribute, sir. <laughs> good good so, on you, Miko. Yeah. Good on you. So, Carolax is just kind of like, it basically engaged in a staring contest with Dern at this point. Um, I'm not sure what you want to do next. <laughs> I really Ask don't some know. some questions. We want to so, know about those adventures. Dern, this is what's going to happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're going to tell us where the... the oh, what was Hercule. the name of that family again? Hercule. Hercule, Hercule. Hercule family... Adventurers have gone. You are going to give us a pass through the rest of your base. Maybe we should have him bring them to us. <laughs> <laughs> and you are going to give us a space that we can have a quick rest. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, let me or we also want a my dragon story. friend here <laughs> yes, or and all my story. other friends will be unhappy. Um. All right. Look, uh, Hercules says, "I, I, I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble." Um, he is completely lost face in front of his uh his uh hobgoblin uh, uh subordinates. Um, look, this is this is my territory. This is it. You've seen the base. Uh, there's there's a there's a druid who lives who lives down below. We're supposed to uh we're supposed to keep people out for him, and he doesn't cause us too much trouble. Uh, ah. we captured some adventurers a while back. Uh, we turned over the ones that survived to, uh, to, to, to Belloc downstairs. Right, so where did this armor come from? Was that one of the survivors or one of the ones you killed? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, there right. were four, there this, were four in that party. I see this kingdom keeps really good records. The ranger Caracas we already found and he was dead. Mm-hmm. So there's three more. And then Belloc is interesting because we had heard that that a guy with a pet frog named Belloc uh, mm-hmm. uh, came around Oakhurst ask, a, asking mm-hmm. questions. So he's the druid who's down there. So he, wait, he wait, must where, be downstairs. Where did he come from? Well, he's downstairs. Belloc? We don't know where yeah, that but wait, is. When was he mentioned before? Uh, when we were in the town, right they the said that the, he had come through with a pet with his pet frog, and he had asked a, lo- a bunch of questions and then uh, gone off. Oh, oh, okay. And Look at and there, was, there was a magic apple remembering things. Are you guys sure like you're on a podcast? This is not. This is unorthodox. But Furian's called up Google Docs on his phone and is looking <laughs> oh. at the. T- yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. We're we're not uh, making hand signals. We're communicating with well, the audio. Uh, uh, that I mean, I don't want any okay. trouble. We uh we captured three of them, but there was uh there was an accident, and uh well I turned over two of them to Belloc. Uh, I How think long it was, ago uh, was this? Sharwin and Sir Bradford. How long ago? Got sent, got sent down. I don't know. Couple couple weeks back. Does Belloc, you know, do you have any idea what he does with these adventure prisoners? No idea. And why are you guarding stuff for Belloc? He gives us he gives us fruit. 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 Seriously. <laughs> a, we could we could have brought ma- magic fruit. Oh, is from that a, it's magic, magic fruit? fruit from a magic tree. Ah. We could have brought Furian. magic fruit. And you'd be fine with us. Great. And Furian's like, I God, told he, you he those turns magic around and looks at the other hobgoblins. I t- tell them about the magic fruit. I'm not yeah. making this up. The other hobgoblins avoid making eye contact with Dern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, based on what Dern has said, one of the Huck rules is dead. Uh, because he said yeah. it was Sir Bradford. Yeah. Right. Well, I so say yeah. we need to get the ring. Uh, I, I think we should say to Dern, uh, okay, here's, here's a dragon. They kind of want, you know, they like gold. They'll be your friend if you have gold. So uh, bring the dragons and gold. Give them a nice room for their lair. You'll be just fine. We'll be on our way. Ma- that's, yeah. that's, that's my do suggestion. Have, do you have the names of the missing Hercules? I, I uh, do. Talgan and Sharwin. Yeah, mm-hmm. one of those with the names. Uh, right, now, so Tugan we died, but Charwin and Sir Bradford are still alive, apparently. Yeah, yeah. and in fact, uh, Meepo kind of fishes around in the in the um, 
in his bag of stuff and pulls out the ring that uh, Dern had thrown on the ground and and kind of hands it to you subtly so that hopefully Carlox doesn't notice. And yeah. it is a uh, oh, it is a, a, a ring uh, with uh, uh, T- Tugan's name and the uh, uh like perfect house motto. Because uh, that's what uh, we needed. If we don't bring yeah. them back, yeah. alive, we need the we proof. Need to bring back yep. the ring. Oh, so you have you completed. Fifty percent of the quest. <laughs> yes, yes I, take, so, I take the a, ring a and give some Meepo gold back to Meepo. Okay, that's very kind of you. Uh, uh, Meep- Meepo says, uh, "Actually, about that, uh, I promised Carolax uh, all of your gold. Hope that was okay." Meepo, why would you do that? Because uh, he didn't. Wa- they didn't want to come out of the lair, but it seemed like you guys were in bad shape. I feel like that's not, that's not the worst thing in the world today. Yeah. No, I think like. <sighs> I would like to take a look, meanwhile, if this conversation is going on, into this throne room place I, and what's sure. going on in there. I give Meepo two gold. That's um, all we've Meepo, got. Meepo c- coughs and says, uh, Carolax can totally smell gold. <laughs> Tell him that's our yeah. gold-scented perfume. And <laughs> no, um, no, Remember what happens with lies. No. <laughs> yes. I've got a deception plus four or five. This is well, five. Oh, over a dragon, I think we're in the middle of a gold. sort of What's I think we've it? got to a point where we're not going to immediately die, which is good. Mm-hmm. Um, Amazingly. Well, I'll, I'll say that I was sold this perfume, which I totally <laughs> believe oh was going How to do we into- get to the I down did- below, Furion asks? I'm- yes, that, yes, that's the key. Yes. Hey, uh, but also, what's in the throne room? Can we take a quick look, yes. please? Yes, Dur- Dern points into the throne room. Uh, also, Dern, can we have some below. of your stuff? That'd be great. Uh, no. <laughs> Let, let's just... Dern rolls his eyes. <laughs> so, um, uh, L, you, L heads into the throne room to check out what's going on. Uh, the throne room uh, is a very strange room in the back of this goblin warren. Uh, the most prominent feature is there's a large circular shaft uh, in the middle of this strange little circular domed uh, chamber. And the shaft uh, seems to drop... Um, uh, quite deep into the earth, but it's like, oh, the shaft is covered with vines. So it probably looks like it wouldn't be that hard to climb down uh, this shaft uh, if so uh, inclined. Um, there is a chest, uh, a large iron chest is kind of like the footstool to a big throne over in the corner. There's also like a st- strange, weird kind of sickly little tree growing in a pot to the next to the, uh, to the throne. So, hmm. Darn, what's the wee tree about? Uh... It was a, a present from Belloc. Oh, is this the uh, is this the apple tree? Is this one of these apple the magic, magic fruit tree? apples? No, just a tree. Mm. <laughs> it really looks more like a bush to to to, to the trained druid eyes of Belloc. Uh-huh. I see. What's mm-hmm. in the chest? Uh, all my stuff. I, let's leave him with his stuff for now. The dragon yeah. is going to get him eventually. So, <sighs> I think just we'll. What's the name of the dragon again? I keep, we keep getting Caracks. it all different. Cataracts. Cataracts. Cal- Cal- oh. Cal- <laughs> yes. <but> yeah. <laughs> Cataracts. Cataracts. <laughs> Caltrops. Can we take a rest? Yes, I think we should have a rest before we go down. Yes. And... Uh, yeah, can we just say to Meepo, Meepo dude, bestest friend, um, if we have a little nap here for an hour, will you make sure that nobody kills us? Um, I think you probably want to take an even longer than an hour rest, mm-hmm. right? I only I only need an hour though. No, so, but I think we should all recharge before we. I get... would love a long rest. Yeah. Meepo, long rest. Meepo uh-huh. suggests, uh, back, right? How about you know, Carolax seems like uh, they're in really good spirits right now. Maybe we head back to uh, to my tribe, and uh, I think if we come back this way, uh, Dern's not going to give us any trouble. Okay, thank you, Meepo, yeah. for telling us what to do because obviously we're not doing the safe thing, <laughs> and we need to be gently instructed. <laughs> You're well, welcome. Anytime. Uh, Madam Velo, because <laughs> he salutes. <laughs> I, love I don't think. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think the we dragon do that. is not going to want to leave this place because we just promised them this nice lair. He no, but he said he was in good spirits, and Meeple's like it's cool. So I think we should like go back. He's subtly uh, telling us to go back. Yeah, another thing is Carolax, to tell- uh, sees the throne and curls up on top of the throne. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, uh, Ka- this is now Carolax's room. We can sleep here. Yeah, yeah. Ka- Ka- uh, Ka- Ka- all you the might- hobgoblins can sleep in the trash pile. 
<laughs> okay. Um, seeing as we got you a nice strong Carlax, can we take a wee sleep here? Uh, you know, just uh, Carlax says it would be my honor for you to stick to rest here as my followers. Yay! Okay, cool. I, okay. I, that's uh, my Carlax voice is not consistent. It's, it's about as inconsistent as my pronunciation of Carlax's name. Please so. don't eat the weasel. Thank while we you sleep. very much, Carlax. Okay, I do we a little. Pleased to serve you, Carlax. <laughs> What's a throne room feature that's really fine and lets you crawl in all, down a hole with vines? Ch- Chef, Chef. I, I, thank you. You're damn right. I feel like we right should maybe throw Furion down the pit. <laughs> <for> that. <laughs> that was me saying he that, not Furion. Furion hasn't pit. seen oh, Chef. Okay, okay, then, then it's okay. Fury, Furion can live. I, okay, I, so I we've know. put Carolax in charge. Fair enough. Yep. We are, we, we it's our new adventurous long... pyramid now has a dragon at the top. Mm. Our yeah. dragon overlords. <laughs> and I, All right. I, I'm okay and I with think this. You are going. It's unclear what will happen. You know, Dern may uh, rally his troops, but you are. You seem can like you're pretty safely doors? in here. What was that? Can we lock the door? Yeah, you can lock the doors. Okay. We've kicked. We've kicked our uh, mud goblin friend out of the throne room and installed a dragon in charge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love this. We've been revolution. Killed, yeah, killed yeah. most yes, of the goblins. Like, you have it's greatly cool. changed the uh, the local government in this. Uh, I feel this really good we, about this. I feel like we've done more than uh, we should you have. You know what? I feel like you have accomplished uh, a level two uh, yes! level oh, of, my God. of achievements. How do we find out what spells we can do and stuff? A, like in I the player's handbook, there is information players, but... about uh, leveling up. So uh, when you awaken the next morning, um, you feel uh, rested and slightly more powerful than how, you did before. How do I level up on, on D&D Beyond? You actually can go into the oh, editor yeah. and just uh, go to... Uh, oh, this is so exciting! I get to cla- the spells. class page, you can set your character level. Oh my god. What? So... Um, how far are we into the hour so far, Jason? Not that far, right? Uh, yeah, it's only about 20 minutes in. Okay. Um, I think you should probably do some leveling up, which is usually we do that as homework between sessions, but I feel like now is the time that you want to yeah. do that, right? I already made um, Fury in level two. <laughs> yeah, me too. So Jason's Let's ready to go. Get... People may have questions, and maybe we can help each other out. And I don't know. Maybe this is in the episode. I don't know. What do you think, Jason? That sounds kind of boring to me, but... Uh... All, All right. right, we can, but we can, we can pause. I mean, we can do that now and then continue on and do yeah. the last uh-huh. half hour or whatever. So yeah. when I level up, it says I get two eldritch invocations, which are are they new things? Is how is that different so from spells? If you go into D and D Beyond, it should actually tell you all the things that you're that when you when you change your level, it should be, say like now you get to add one of these, and then you get a little pop up. Where does it say that? Which do da? Well, for spells, I think it would be under your class. So you'd go and you'd edit to level yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. Then... No, it does. It says it says I get two eldritch invocations. But yep. I, I'd want to know how are they different from just regular spells. I don't know. They're... They're, it, if you tap on it, it may tell you what. I haven't ever done a sorcerer, so I don't know. It's like they're forbidden knowledge, apparently. Oh, show more. Sorry, I'm good. Yeah. See. Okay. It's actually I, I was very impressed because I I went to level two and it just sort of popped down all the things I got to add at level two. It was pretty easy. Yeah, I don't get a lot, but what I do get is twenty hit points. Yeah, more so hit I points is that. good. Yeah, I'm at fifteen now. Oh, and you I are... can change into an animal. <laughs> oh, here we go. What? <laughs> I also got the ability to action surge, which is once per short rest I can take a second entire action. Yeah, that's a pretty Ooh. good one. Yeah. Uh. Tiff, do you if you do you have a list of animals in D anD D, or do you need me to send you a list of animals? No, in D&D? it just says I can uh, magically assume the shape of a beast that I've seen before twice per short okay. rest. So I have to have seen it. So do you think I so should like a add another attack type spell <laughs> or a healing spell? So I could be a weasel or a rat. <laughs> uh, I think, but it's Giant also rat. things I that you've you seen in your travels. Oh, okay, okay. So, so you anything. could turn into um, a dragon. Groovy. I have a list uh, of creatures. I, I think there's a. Uh, I think there's limitations on uh, how fancy they can be. Okay. I don't. Th- I don't think you can turn into a dragon. Also, a dragon okay. is a dragon a beast or is it something else? Like I think beasts are. Uh, yeah. Beyond tells beast. you everything. Like no, no beasts are specifically animals as opposed to like. Uh, oh, I think it's monsters. just a cunning action for me. And- like I bet you can turn into a spider or a dog or. Excellent. I don't know. 
I, I know Micah has a character that got high enough level that he can turn into like a giant flying octopus. I suspect you can't do that, right? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, of course, he that's would. a good level. Yeah. But you do you have a list of all the animals that you can do at this level, Tiff? Um, no, what? I don't have a list. But it yeah, says. Let me see uh, if I can find one. It's wild shape. Is that what it is? Yeah. Is this fifth edition we're playing our? Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Uh, I will send you this level, uh, this list, but the list includes, I'll just read this for the amusement of everybody. (laughs) Uh, Baboon, badger, (laughs) cat, deer, giant fire beetle, goat, hyena, jackal, lizard, rat, scorpion, spider, weasel, camel, Mm. giant rat, giant weasel, mastiff, (laughs) mule, pony, Axe beak, I don't know what that is. Uh, boar, draft horse, elk, giant badger, giant centipede, giant goat, giant lizard, giant wolf, sorry, giant wolf spider, <laughs> panther, riding horse, different. swarm of rats, wolf. I could, I could be swarm an entire of rats? swarm of rats. <laughs> yes. Uh, hold on, I'm going to put this list in the chat for you. You may want to like keep that bookmarked. <laughs> so. Yeah, where is And that? you can see as you go up, the list gets longer. Where'd you send uh-huh. that to me? I put it in the Roll20 chat. So yeah, like at level four, you could be a frog or a seahorse. <laughs> Can I Why is that level so eight? High? Level eight, high. you could There's be an eagle. Oh, Ka-ka. this is so cool! <laughs> All right, how are so, people uh, doing on leveling up their characters? Is that just one so, last thing I want to check? So I've done okay. mine um, in here, and uh, it seems like everything is more exciting for from level three for me than level two. Gotcha. But uh, I still got um, maximum hit points went to fifteen, and now it mentions here that I don't have one d eight hit dice. Now I have two d eight, and I'm confused. Where do I use this? That's when you're healing. So that means you, you have heal. yeah. When you're healing, you can spend. You oh. now have two that you can spend instead of just one. Oh, okay. that's good. Find what you could get at each level. It's uh, on the page of your type, your class. You have a table. Uh, and then the only other action that I can do extra at level two is that uh, now I can quick... Uh, I Starting at level second level, your quick thinking and agility allow you to move and act quickly. You can take a bonus action on each of your turns in combat. This action can be used only to take the dash, disengage, or hide. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, I felt I could already do. I, I thought I could already do all of those. But... Um, yeah, that's all I can do. Well, Dash is, you know, is running twice as fast and disengage is moving away from somebody who's trying to who is next to you without them taking an attack of opportunity. So those are both good things to without have. Without provoking them in a Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so Fury and So I guess cuz I already had those. I didn't know. That is, that's good to know. So I get something called Jack of All Trades, so I can add half my proficiency bonus rounded down to any ability check that doesn't already include my proficiency bonus. That sounds good. It kind of sucks to be a fighter at second yeah, level. Yeah, it's not the best. <laughs> yeah, Fighters just kind of grind up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, I mean get, you get better later at fighting. On, you don't like, get later magic. on, it's brilliant. Yeah. Right, like, later on, I get, like, multiple attacks per turn every yeah. turn, but, like, I have to I've wait. basically been but a fighter get, or something similar in every other D&D campaign, so... <laughs> yeah. What I do get is 20 HP, yeah. so Whoa. can't complain about that. That's pretty good. Furion has added something that was actually suggested by a listener um, last time, which is uh, called the Blade Song. So he's a blade singer. It basically means he can uh, twice per short rest enter this state for a minute where his AC goes up and he gets advantage on acrobatics and constitution saves and stuff, which is pretty cool. Got a new spell where I can shoot poison from my hands. Oh, poison spray? That's a good one. Yeah. Okay. I can. Do you get more spell slots yet? Are you still on two? I can now disguise myself at will without expending a self slot. I have three spell slots now. That's also pretty sweet. I also do. Where do you where do you find out if you have? uh, Sorry, I'm very bad at finding things. So people, Adina, people in the chat are saying that that's whatever that thing you were talking about. I was reading is good because you can attack, disengage, and move in one turn. Yeah, but you wouldn't have been able to before. Mm. Yeah, it's giving you extra I, I stuff. You could do it before, but now you have this extra ability to disengage. Oh, uh, right, because I can see with dash, I can move 60 feet yeah. away. 
uh, disengage without provoking yep. and, so and hide. Have to run up to someone, stab them, and run away again. Yeah, the hide. I, I have to read it somewhere yeah. else. But uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I'm gonna read on this yeah, while you guys talk about theme. your other characters. Um. Mm. All right. Let me. So. Uh, how are people doing? How are we, Jason? I don't know how much of that will get into probably. The episode, so I'm not sure. Where I would. I wouldn't think any of it. So, so I would just say so you, uh, yeah. Yeah, we got about half an hour to of game half play. An hour to go yeah. and and half an hour in the bank. Uh, are people ready to play for thirty minutes more? Do you want to do that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. This is good. I thought this was. I did not think we would get this far today. The pace at which we move in D and D is. Uh, Heavily All varied. right, so I, I just want also, to be clear. You murdered Fury, a lot Furian, of people and then talked your way out of a Furian horrible fight. Started, so. started it. Furian also called the dragon. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Furian um, did a great job. And I think Nox's diplomacy paid off. Uh, sure. Yes. I think that episode right. should be called Keep Calm and, Keep Calm and Furion. <laughs> okay. Keep Calm oh. and Furion. Oh. Oh. Mm. So, uh, if you wake up the next morning, you know, you don't get the best sleep because you're in a hobgoblin throne room with a dragon no, sleeping No, we're in nearby. a dragon throne room. I um, also imagine it's quite painful to level up, right? So, you, you can't get a good sleep when you're leveling up. Yeah, you're doing a lot of work. It's a growth spurt. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you wake up the next morning. Uh, Meepo has made uh, kobold waffles for everybody, which actually Aww. taste okay, but don't smell great. Um, yeah. All right, I think uh, it's time to go down the vines. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Meepo shakes each of your hands enthusiastically and says, You've changed my life forever. I will always remember this. All right. Hey, well, thank you, Meepo. Up. We'll be back. Say, Meepo, thank you to you our Dragon Lord as well. Then, we'll Meepo. be back. We got to go uh, check out what's down uh, down here and find those those two people who are lost. All right. Carolax kind of nods at you and uh, wishes you well in your travels. I hope you find some gold to bring back to me. Uh, by the way, so did you turn over all of your items of value to Carolax? No. No. <laughs> Carolax um, says, which, you might want to leave those here for safekeeping. I think we might We We might need that. them to get even we'll more items. We'll catch you items. on the way up. Yeah. We'll catch you mm. on the way up, Carolax. And then we make Carol- a, a hasty exit. Okay. Carolax, <laughs> Carolax growls, and you see it like there's like some frost starting to form in the, the air in front uh, wh- of his why face. Why don't we leave half of our stuff? Yeah, we'll leave half, and then we'll get you on the way back. All right. Meepo starts writing you up like a little ticket so that you can cl- a claim ticket. <laughs> <laughs> and Meepo Thanks, shows Meepo. you that he's gonna. Meepo's got. He's gonna put it in the little iron chest that used to belong to the hobgoblin. He's got the key on a, like a little little chain that's attached to his belt. Um, he's taking his duties very seriously. So, uh, Furian, please note down uh, that you have left half of your gold. Here. All right. So noted. Should we descend? All right. Is it down Here. into uh, the Hidden Grove? Yeah. Yep. There it goes. All right. I am going to take us to a new map. We haven't done that in a while. It tends to break everything when I do that. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> okay. Um, just randomly, how do I know how many spell slots I have again? If Under you click on spells. spells? Yeah, I'm, I'm at spells, which there's we're, little we're just, sh- Next to first level. Next to first level. Do you see in the spells to the tab. right of that? Yeah, yeah. Is it is it the little boxes? Yes. Yeah. Right. Excellent. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Hey, it's a new map. Oh, it should have loaded the new map for you. You may need yep. to scroll around to see where. I think yeah. I did. We had huge issues with the lighting, dynamic lighting last time that I think I successfully turned off. But the question is, can you see that. and move your characters around? Yep. I yep. can. The oh, little good. dotted yeah. circle shows where basically the uh, the shaft shaft would lead to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Right on. Okay. How do I make? Um, so let me tell you about what's down here. So uh, this you're in a you you kind of drop down from the shaft into a large square sh- chamber. Uh, luminescent fungus uh, is kind of giving a dim violet light to this uh, to this chamber. It's clinging to the walls and ceiling of this wide cavern. Uh, the air is damp. Chilly and redolent. That is totally a word you only see in a D&D adventure. Redolent with the odors of loam and decay. Uh, instead of the normal stone floor you're used to in most dungeons, there's a layer of earth 
mixed with rotting vegetation and the remains of some cave animals covering the floor. Uh, several varieties of mushroom and fungi are kind of growing up in this uh, detritus, as well as a few saplings. And in fact, you see uh, in the in kind of the distance in this large chamber, um, there are two uh, gardeners wearing kind of heavy robes and big floppy hats who seem to be kind of working the earth with like shovels and gardening equipment. Hmm. Are they human gardeners? Uh, they are humanoid. Um, I want to use my disguise at will to immediately turn into a uh, goblin. To a goblin, you say? <laughs> Why? Okay. Yeah. Just casual, like all Do, casual, I, like. I have one question. Yeah. Do you speak goblin? Mm, I speak common. So if they're druids, which we think they might be, I'm a druid, and I also speak druid. Well, a druid came mm-hmm. down here, but these are the gardeners, right? So can we perceive, they're Tony, can we get some perception, or do we need to get closer? Where are they? I don't see them on our map here. Uh, I haven't put them on the map, but let's say that they are there, and... Okay. There. So not too mm-hmm. far away. In the It is, you know, it's dimly lit down here, so they're kind of just silhouettes in the distance in the room for you, but you're in the same room with them. You could certainly have perception. How are they reacting to us? They seem not to have noticed you. Uh, we should say hi. Hi, guys. Uh, hi. So Velo has uh, given up the element of stealth uh, and said, <laughs> hi, guys, uh, to some, some gardeners. Hey. Hey. Um, <laughs> they, they, don't, they don't reply, Velo. Oh, they seem rude. These are rude gardeners. I, I think these people probably have mushrooms in their brains or something and are not. Uh, they're probably under the control. Well, let's do, of let's druid, do a perception. I'm can we perceive or investigate them or go over to them, Tony? Yeah, you could do any of those things. Who has the highest perception? Not I rolled an 18 for perception. There we go. There you go. Uh, they I don't, you know, their their behavior seems odd, uh, Furion, or perhaps for you, fascinating. Mm. Um, <laughs> Unusual, not like any gardeners you've ever known. Of course, uh, also, this is not a garden like any garden you've mm. seen before. Okay, can I just go up to one and take a good look at his face? And you Sure, know, do you want to do that? Yeah! So there's one over here. Uh, Velo, uh, you run up to one of the gardeners, um, and the gardener, and you just kind of, like, run around in front of him and, and look at them, and underneath uh, the floppy hat is uh, a, a skeletal face stares back at you. It turns oh. to my, the, our party and say, Dudes, they're the undead. Uh, you're going to roll initiative. <laughs> oh, hey, okay. I speak in I'm so, so sorry. I feel bad. Nah. But also, I've got all my spells back. So Yeah. There's only two of them. And then we can just pop back upstairs and have another sleep. There's actually a third, too. Give me a second. I can't hey. see the... Uh, we're not you said there the were two. Table. We didn't notice Why? the third, I guess. Why is the DM mm. telling You're going to have to add us plus. to the turn order, Tony. Yep. You're on a new map. I'm doing that now. Mm. Okay. Oh, would God. the would One infernal day. language be useful here with skeletons? Unlikely. <laughs> Just curious. Uh, infernal language is great if you need to talk to demons. Got it. <gasps> I do. I sp- no. I don't. I have a demon friend, my patron. He's a lovely guy. He's <laughs> What's his name? Fire. His name is Demon Guy. The Fiend. His name is the uh, Fiend. Yeah, I think he. <laughs> He's All my right, buddy. All right, let me roll initiative for my skeletal gardeners. <laughs> Please don't hit me, <laughs> Mr. Gardener. They rolled a four. They're Yay! Not, I get to hit them know. first. <laughs> I feel bad. Fortunately, about this. in this situation, you only have yourself to blame. Yes, but on the other hand, I have antagonized <laughs> three undead gardeners. Somebody else in this party antagonized fifty goblins. That was yesterday. Well, that no worked one out that. fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also called the dragon. I don't know how this is gonna go yet? There's no way to know. Uh, Nox, you're next. Okay, I'm assuming that they are unfriendly because of world initiative. I, that seems uh, safe to assume. Hmm. Hmm. Well, uh, I recommend attacking them. Let's attack yeah. them. Come on, Nox. What uh, are you doing? Okay. Uh, these, are, these are literally undead gardeners. So they are, you know, 
So I'm going to give much. some bardic inspiration to Velo because I think she's going to need it. Hey! <laughs> I'm I'm using charisma now for my modifier because I these people read the don't thing. have faces. They don't have charisma. <laughs> so your charisma is going to win them over. My charisma is going to burn them to death. That's not I feel like that's how it works for warlocks because yeah, I didn't. Veil, ch- that's what it Veil says. I haven't been doing it properly. It's not been as good as what it should be. Yeah, because I have a plus four spell modifier. I haven't been using. All right. Well, I am going to uh, foolishly <laughs> move over here and hit the thing with my pointy weapon. The uh-huh. uh, needle sword. The needle sword, indeed. Mm. Uh, and I um, I roll a 20 plus 4. That sounds uh, So good. if you rolled a critical, you're going to uh, do double damage. Remember that. So you definitely hit. Okay, so uh, 1d6 plus 2. Or 2d6. Uh, did you roll a critical? Is that what you did? Yes. So you rolled 2d6. All right, 2d6. Well, the first one was a 2. The second one is a 4. So that's a 6 plus... Uh, do, wait, do I do the plus 2 and then mod double it? You ro- you double the dice, not the... All right, uh, so, that, so that is 8. 8. All right, you uh, you stab at the uh, the robe skeleton and cause some damage, but the skeleton is still there. Okay, that didn't sound particularly effective. Oh, that's bloody. That's a red dot. It means yeah, that's a red dot. That's a universal matter. symbol of half health. Okay, <laughs> doesn't have um, much life left in it. Well, there's not much else I can do. I think. All right, oh Lena, you are up next. Oh, <laughs> didn't see that. I'm gonna try my um, short bow on this with a um, what was it? The sneak attack. Um, cool. I'm gonna. Uh, it's like disappeared from my list. No, have it? Has it? Oh, no, it's here. It's here. Never mind. Um, cool. So that was a nine. Plus uh, five. That's 14. Ah, uh, that'll hit. Cool. And then that's uh, 1d6 plus three. That's a six. Wait, wait. I got lost my dice. Is this it? No. Ah! Sorry. Is Max? Is this the that's six? weird that you said that. <laughs> yeah. That's a six, yes, the square one is a six. I feel like I haven't used my short bow um, in the past episodes. Um, so that's a one plus three, four. And uh, I have an extra d6 damage because my party is in their oh, uh, uh, range. Adjacent to him? Yeah, so that's four plus two. All right, that skeleton gardener crumbles to the ground. <sighs> wow, we killed a gardener. We killed a Feels skeletal good. gardener. A hostile gardener. <laughs> Elena, well, are you happy where you are? Or do you want to move around? I'll s- stay put. All right, Max, you're next. All right, I'm going to move to the gardener that's further, furthest away from us. Okay. Um, and I'm going to take a swing with my uh, battle axe, mm-hmm. which is a 10 against AC. Uh, you, the gardener somehow kind of avoids your blow, <laughs> kind of shambles out of the way slowly. Yes. He pivots. Uh, sure he, I'm sure he did. <laughs> I'm sure he did. Um, I'm going to use my action surge, and I'm going to try it again. Okay. Because. Oh, God. Uh, 16 <laughs> against AC. Uh, that'll hit a skeletal gardener. Fantastic. And that will be 11. All right, that gardener does not look great. This is your first uh, brush with the undead. Mm-hmm. Velo. Mm-hmm. Um, how much did it take to kill that first one? Does anyone remember? Uh, no. Nope, no, ma'am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Um, let me check what these will actually do now. 
One D eight plus four. Okay. Um, I'm you, sure you also you're... have the inspiration, so you get like an extra. Yeah, but I kind of want to know whether I should just attack that one or whether I could might be able to take the other one out in one shot because I have a spell modifier of plus four, which I'm actually going to remember <laughs> to use. Just um, I'm going to attack then. I'm sure Furion will hit the one of them and take it out yeah, next should. turn. So I'm going to go for the undamaged one, and <laughs> I'm going to cast a... Oh god, I really want to do one of the cool spells. But no, no. I'm going to cast a bonfire, and they mm -hmm. have to save not dexterity 12, charisma 12. What? Skeletons are not great at that. I know, that's why it's <laughs> that's so brilliant. <laughs> yeah, actually, skeletons are rubbish at that. Yes, so. this is the point. Clever. Uh, the skeleton, with its modifier, rolled a zero. <laughs> <laughs> you so see what happens to that skeleton? You see the disadvantage I've been at? Um, yes. Uh, 1d8 plus why don't you roll a d8? 4. I can't believe. I've been doing so little damage compared to what I could do. Um, where's my d8 thing? Oh, there we are. Uh, eight. eight plus four, that's twelve. Oh, that skeleton is in bad shape. <laughs> That'll do. All right. Red dot! <laughs> Take one out, Furion. <laughs> Furion. All right, Furion's going to move back here, and uh, then he is going to... Well, let's see. Uh, how do, what do I want to do here? And then I'm, go I'm going to firebolt that guy. Okay. That's a crit. Uh, he's dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yay. And you feel right. Let's it. see what kind uh, of damage an undead can do on me. <laughs> the skeletons are next. Now, this undead skeleton is, uh, he's armed only with a shovel that he was using it's for trowel, trowel attack. <laughs> trowel attack happening now. Yeah. Uh, but he's, he's going to try his hardest here. Hmm. <laughs> No. Uh, he swings the shovel and you just kind of catch it, <laughs> Max, and yeah. give, him a, give him a look. And he, he kind of looks sad. Um, <laughs> L. All right, I'm going to stay where I am and I'll do a produce flame. Mm -hmm. And that is uh, 12 plus 4, so 16. That'll do it. Roll damage. All right, damage. Let me get my. Where'd you go? Eight. Um, six. All right, the skeleton is consumed by fire. It looks like a really awesome uh, album cover. Um, <laughs> Bela nods approvingly at another death by fire by L. L, do you want to move anywhere? Or are you happy where you are? Um, I'll go over here to. Uh, uh, wait, I'll move over to can this I one just so say, I can see that if was they have anything on them. Effective combat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we yes. absolutely obliterated. We killed them with fire, those skeletons. <laughs> yeah, there's yes. something else to oh, appear. No. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, that next was the best ah. beginning to a combat that we have ever had. Next in the initiative oh order, Someone's the trees <laughs> are not what they seem. Uh, suddenly, uh, much of the, uh, the plant life around you seems to be slightly more mobile than it was uh, before. Um, oh jeez! <laughs> hey. And several. It these actually you oh, notice no! <laughs> they're the same kind of plant that uh, Dern had growing in that pot in his throne room, uh, and these plants kind of like uproot themselves and shamble over to where you are. Uh, do I have an image I can share with you? I think I do. Oopsie daisies. Let's see. Here. <laughs> I mean, I do did I say it'd be good if everything was made of wood, drink? and yes. apparently it is. <laughs> these plants are going down. Yeah. I don't know if I have a. Uh, well, we do have a lot of, of fire amongst yeah, us. Yeah, we're, we're going to make a nice campfire out of all of these guys. Hey <laughs> yeah. These village trees should just have stayed put. Do you all see we that? Wouldn't have done it oh anyway. my god, they look like Groot. <laughs> they look yes. like we're gonna they kill look Groot. beautiful with flame. <laughs> They're mean. All Groot. right. So uh, these are twig blights. Uh, they basic when they are stationary, they are indistinguishable from uh, plants. But then they kind of uproot themselves and move around, and they are going to uh, uh, claw at you with their l weird little viney hands. Uh, so, Furion, one of them's coming for you. All right, I am singing the blade song. Okay, well, it rolled a twenty versus AC. That's, it's gonna get me. Yep, you'll take three damage. Uh, Olena, there's suddenly a tree behind you attacking you. This is unexpected. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it got a 12. That doesn't seem very impressive. Uh, no, I'm a 14. All right. And then L, unfortunately, there are two next to you. 
Damn. First one rolled a critical fail. And the Yay. second one rolled a 14. Does 14 get you? I have 14 armor class. Ty goes to the attacker. You take three damage. Okay. Uh, Nox, you are next. The, tw- the trees are not what they seem. Okay. <laughs> um, Do they take more damage from fire because they're trees? Uh, they are vulnerable to fire, which means they take double damage from fire. <gasps> Oh my god, they're so dead. If only two if people only we had a party. whole party three of fire, fire people. people. Three. Three. Four people. Uh, three? Are you going uh, to uh, four. Furian, right? Are you going to really? tell us that? There's four yeah. of us. I mean, it's baked oh. into the thing. I was not going mean, like, to lie to you. Yeah. I mean, I guess you were either going to find out when you asked me or the first time you did fire damage to them, I guess. so. Okay. Which would have been immediately. <laughs> yeah. so, I feel like yeah. I should invest in getting those oh, like, fire things. It feels so good. Don't kill them all before it's much. Oh, it's... If I go... Let's see here... Oh. And just to measure a cone. Uh, no, I need to be here then. Hang on. Wait, why does Knox get to go before me? I'm 19. That doesn't matter. Uh, that's a good point. Why? No, you went, that? and then yeah. and then the twig lights went. Yeah. And then oh, Knox okay. went. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Did I do that yep, wrong? Yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no you're that, right. You're Knox, right. why are why are you not just hitting them? <laughs> Why are you using one of your cone yeah, you, powers on trees? You're right. Because I'll be okay. Fire is cool. I'm I'll not just hit get them. burned. Oh. All right. <laughs> These trees are creating a lot of dis, uh, a lot of dissension in the ranks. Here. You know, you can get too fancy when they're not that. I bad. just want to yeah, see things I mean, we we burn. don't know how strong these trees They've are. They've only but been doing three damage. Burn. Okay, That's it, right. To everyone. I I'm going to uh, use the pointy stick thing the needle sword needle sword i can never remember i know I, can right, we edit yeah. edit the name of the thing in uh, nope okay <laughs> uh so 13 plus 4 17 that's plenty to hit a okay. uh, a, a plant which uh, are uh, you attacking the one north of you or the one east of you i am doing the one north of me all right, I will tell you a twig blight only has four damage, so, or four hit points, so roll damage. Oh my okay, god. Okay, so it's a 1d8 plus two, which is four plus two, six. All right, you have killed a tree. I hope you're happy. Yay! <laughs> I'm right. Olena, you're up next. Yes, I don't have any fire capability. You don't need it. I think even, like... Uh, I think I'll the, they don't seem a big... Trees deal. also don't like being stabbed. I mean, they really yeah. don't like fire, but they dislike being stabbed as well. I'll use my needle sword as well then. Okay. Uh, I'm at uh, 15. That'll that do work? it. Yep. Cool. And then the uh, this is a D8. Eh. Found it. Found it. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, eight. Uh, you've slain a tree. Just so keep, please keep track of the number of trees. When you return to the surface, you are morally obligated to plant this number of trees. Uh, Carbon twice offset, the amount, right? Is yeah. Uh, Olena, do you want to move, or are you happy where you are? I'll sit there. There's Max. nothing around me for now. Uh, I'm gonna move down to the tree. Mm-hmm. Not You're gonna fell a tree. L. I'm gonna try my very best. Yep, that is a 24 against AC. Mm-hmm. And that is six. No, eight. Eight damage. That'll do it. All right. These trees are going down left and right. Timber! Uh, Velo, there's yeah. one tree remaining. It's right next to Furion. Do you want to set it on fire? Yep. We're zapping that tree with a bonfire, and it has to beat a 12 charisma. All right. Uh, charisma. It's a very charismatic tree. <laughs> it's not a very charismatic tree. It does not. It got a. All right. I'm just going to tell you what it got now that you've realized how your powers work, Velo. <laughs> uh, because you keep using making things that are. Are you sure it's that they they take they they do a charisma check? Really? Hang on. Yeah. Uh, hang on. Let me just double check the. Yeah, I'm not. I've just, I'm, I don't know how, under, how warlocks work. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Packed magic. You can cast known warlock spells using charisma as your spell casting modifier. Spell DC 12. Spell attack plus four. Uh, but that's not what that that's not what their save would be. That's that's so when you're doing an attack, I think that should already be baked into your character sheet for what your attacks are. Well, what so spell that changes DC what your then? what your spell attack is uh, and what the spell DC is. So they still have to beat twelve. Wait, but so they, do it I does get, not. But it, it does not sp- change what the the skill they're rolling. It just changes what the number it, that they have to get is. So they have to get twelve, right? But that's it's what you said. also twelve in the thing. 
Yes, but they don't have to roll a charisma check to beat that. They just they have to roll Why? whatever the check. I want to because they aren't using charisma to avoid being on fire. <laughs> Irregardless, that tree is on fire because <laughs> it rolled a very low number. Okay, so what about my spell attack? Should I be counting uh, that? It it should already be built into the character sheet. The math should be in there. You should not need to do additional math. So the one d eight means that's plus the spell modifier. Yep, spell that's attack. in there. Are you sure? That seems unfair. I was so much cooler for five minutes. <laughs> for so five you do minutes. 1d8 plus whatever. So you add the plus whatever to the roll. Okay. Um, okay, well, I'm sorry for um, cheating <laughs> for that one <laughs> round. I apologize. For one sure round. It's I'm- okay. Uh, if you if listeners of other Total Party Kills will know that Jason has been erroneously cheating for like years. <laughs> yeah, although so, some, oh, some of right. that cheating was given to me by the dungeon master. So, yeah. you know. Okay, yeah, I know. I mean, I, I shouldn't say cheating in the like malicious sense so much as uh, rules were not played correctly because we didn't know what we were doing. Yeah. And But yeah, but like basically every time Carlos has done something has been in yeah, error. Pretty much. Okay, oh, well. well Okay. We have to redact the entire podcast. Never happened. So it's no. 1d8 then. Where's my dude up? Uh, Fire damage. So basically it needs what, two? Yeah. It, and it's double. Yeah, but I might roll yeah. one because I deserve yeah. it now. 1d8. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Punishment. You do 14 fire damage to a tree that had four hit points. Yay. You have slain the gardeners tilling this weird underground gardener. You have slain the trees that protected this place. What horrors will await you next in this weird, spooky grove beneath a dragon temple, beneath a dungeon now ruled over by Carolax and his uh, major domo, Meepo the Kobold? Uh, what horrible things will you do to the government of this part of, of the dungeon? Uh, tune in next time to Total Party Kill.